Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy Sun. If you're new here, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. First off, please excuse my appearance. I understand my hair is a little greasy looking and I have literally nothing on my face except for some tinted moisturizer and a little bit of blush and some lip balm because I am going to work out right after I film this video. I'm gonna go take a rowing class. If you guys have been watching my wardrobe recap series, you guys know how much I've been loving my rowing classes. As you can tell from the title of this video, this is going to be another Lululemon try on haul and review. My last Lululemon haul, if you haven't checked it out already, definitely go ahead and watch it because I featured so many amazing summer colorful pieces. I'm obsessed with color right now in terms of active wear. This time around, I'm going to be featuring all of my neutrals because I am through and through a neutrals gal. In my day-to-day -day wardrobe, that's all I really wear because I love a good capsule wardrobe. So of course, as much as I love my colorful active wear pieces, I am also going to be indulging in my neutrals as well. I'm actually going to reorder this a little bit so that I feature all of my pieces in the order of color. Since I am wearing white right now, I will go ahead and talk through the pieces that I'm wearing on my body. Then we'll go down the row on my hanger. The top that I'm wearing right now is called the Align Bra and it is made out of that same Nulu material that the Align leggings are made from. I love the look of the Align Bras. I think it's one of my favorite bra tops from Lululemon for working out, but also for running errands, just lounging around. It's super comfortable. I wear it in a size four. I am typically a size four in Lululemon bras. For tank tops and t-shirts, things that are a little bit looser, I go for a size two or a four if they go by numbers or an extra small to small. For bottoms, I typically go for a size two or four depending on the style and material. I got two other colors in this same exact style. I love the fit. I love how it looks on me. It's very minimal. It's very simple. It's just a scoop neck style neckline. And in the back, it's also scoop neck. You can see in the back, it doesn't do anything crazy like crisscrossing. It's not very strappy. It's very simple, minimal, and I love it. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of bras that have a lot of like different straps and you know, it looks like this. <laughs> I am not a big fan of that because I hate adjusting the straps if they get tangled or if they don't lay flat on my back. It's just one of those things that I don't wanna be fussing with when I'm working out. For my bottoms that I'm wearing right now, I don't think you guys can see it in this frame but you will see it all in my try on clips as always. These are the track that high rise short in the three inch length. I am beginning to be converted to a track that short kind of girl. I used to love, and I still do love the hottie hots and the speed up shorts. I think I prefer the speed up shorts over the hottie hots a little bit more. I tried the track that shorts for the first time this year and I have fallen in love with the feel and just overall practicality of the shorts. I personally feel it's one of the most comfortable shorts that Lululemon has to offer in terms of their athletic shorts, like shorts that you can actually work out in and do high intensity workouts like running, weight training, stuff like that, and rowing, of course. I love it because the three inch length is perfection. With the speed up shorts and the hottie hots, they go from 2.5 inch to four inch. And I just feel like the three inch is just perfect. It's my perfect length. I think it's the most flattering, but also very comfortable and practical because sometimes I feel the 2.5s are a little small for my liking. It doesn't have as much coverage, but I like the look of them a little bit more than the four inch length because those tend to be a little bit longer on me and I am pretty short. The track that shorts are the perfect in-between balance of the two. And these are white, but the underwear lining that this comes in is a nude skin tone color instead of another white. So it actually 
hides the lining super well. A lot better than the Hot Yachts and the Speed Ups in my opinion. I love the thick wide waistband but it's super elasticated. I get them in a size 2 just like all my other shorts from Lululemon and they fit true to size in my opinion. I'm falling more and more in love with the track that shorts that I'm beginning to collect a lot more now. I will say the one thing that I don't like about them is that if you do end up sizing up to have a more relaxed fit, the bottom part, like where the tailbone is, that fabric tends to fold and puff up off of your body a little bit, which is not the most flattering thing. It kind of makes you look like you have a tail and that's not the type of look that I want. But if you get the right size, I think it mitigates that by filling out the fabric a little bit more with your glutes you know, your butt essentially. So just try to get the right size. I think if you size up too much, it does have that puff effect near the tailbone area. Another amazing discovery I made is this cinchable, what is this called? Cinchable, I shall read the tag. Waist highway, uh, wait, uh, what? <laughs> It is called the Cinchable Waist High Rise Woven Short in the 3.5 inch length. I actually had to size down to an XX small. I'm usually an extra small in most cases, but these ran so big on me when I got the extra small. It just looked like I was wearing a paper bag over my thighs. It was not a cute look. So I had to size down to an XX small, but I would have never bought these when I saw these online, to be honest. It did not look like something that I would be interested in. I feel like I've seen shorts like this in a million different places for a lot cheaper than Lululemon. But when I saw them in person, I immediately changed my mind because they are so, so cute and I love the feel of them. These are like the perfect kind of like airport short, if you will. It's perfect for travel and I just love the look of these when I put it on. It's the perfect length. I love like the three to four inch length. The cinchable waist is really cute as well. It has a draw cord so you can adjust the waist a little bit. It has a very soft inner lining of the waistband as well and inside it's not lined or anything so it's just a pair of regular shorts one thing i will say about the white pair because i did get this in a black as well but the white is see-through for sure so if you wear like black underwear or something very colorful underneath these shorts you will see through them do what you will with that information i personally don't mind because i tend to wear a lot of like thongs or nude colored underwear with garments like this, especially this crisp of a white color. So I really personally don't mind matching my underwear to the garment that I'm wearing. It's not a big deal, but I know some of you guys might care about that. If you are worried about the see-throughness of it, maybe you can go for the color Bone because Bone is more of that kind of off-white eggshell beige color and that one might be a little bit better to mitigate that see-throughness a little bit. Okay, let's kind of speed up the process a little bit because I've been talking way too much on each of these pieces. This video is going to be way too long. I will breeze through this one because this is literally the same bra that I'm wearing on me right now, just in a different color. I'll go ahead and link everything in the description along with the sizes that I got and the color so you guys can see that for reference but yeah basically same top different color love it it's kind of like a caramelly brown to me this is like the epitome of a summer neutral to go with that I got the aligned leggings without pockets this is the 25 inch length which is perfect for my height of being five foot five feet three-ish, a little under. These were on sale as well, this particular color in the Align leggings, and I love it. I have the Aligns in so many different colors now, and I just wanted to have a matching set to this particular color. So soft, you guys have seen Align leggings everywhere, so I won't go too deep into the details, but buttery, soft, smooth, perfect for lounging or just going about your day, just doing daily errands and yeah, it's great. I also work out in them. I know you're not supposed to, but you can definitely do like low impact workouts, just nothing that involves a lot of friction. I have another Align bra. Like I said, I love this bra. If this doesn't show how much I love them, I don't know what does. This is in, I believe, what color is this? Java. We all love Java. Java is like the perfect neutral brown. I got the Align bra and I got the matching 
a line biker short in the six inch length. And these are high rise as well. Super simple, no pockets, just very minimal. I thought this would be great to pair with the Align bra in the same color for my casual workouts. I also got the same color Java in the Align legging with pockets though. These have pockets and these are the 25 inch length as well. So same thing as the Align legging, but just with pockets. I know black is not really a summer color, but I thought I would still include it because these tops are so dang cute. The first one here that I have is the Align V-neck bra. And I actually have this in multiple colors. I think I featured it in my previous Lululemon video as well with all the colorful sets. I bought this in dark lavender. So pretty, obsessed with that color. But I also got it in a black because I feel like this is a very versatile top. You can wear it to a low impact workout class, but you can also double it up as a legitimate top to go out in. Super comfortable, that same Nulu material, just like the Align tops and bottoms. These ones are made for A to B cups, so they do not have padding. Oh, for the Align bra that I'm wearing right now, these actually don't have padding as well. I personally don't care if bras don't have padding because I don't need a lot of support, as you can tell. <laughs> but I know some of you guys really want the padding, so just note that this and this do not come with padding. I love the v-neck, it is pretty plungy, so if you do have a larger chest, it'll be very booby, but I don't know, I think this top is so, so cute. Speaking of cute, this is another cute little black top. It is their one shoulder top. I have the same thoughts for this as I did in the v-neck. I think this type of top you can wear out, but also for workouts, like low impact, of course, because you know, you don't want to be jumping around and it'll be annoying to like adjust this throughout your workout. I personally didn't buy this for workouts, but I bought it because I thought it was so aesthetic. I love one shoulder things in general and I thought this would be really cute to dress up as well in the summer. I don't know what to call these, like wide leg leggings or pants. These have pockets in them and it is super, super buttery soft just like the Align leggings, but they have a wide leg. So it's not really a legging, it's more like a wide leg pant. It has a really cute kind of V-formed seam towards your glutes. I got these in a size two. I will note though that these are very high-waisted. So if you have a shorter torso, I don't think these are going to be the most comfortable or flattering fit for you. It does come up quite, quite high. It might touch your ribs, <laughs> like that's how high it goes on me. I feel like that's the case for the groove pants as well. That's what I heard at least, I've never tried those, but I can imagine kind of the same type of situation because the inseam is quite large. So it goes very high up. Super basic t-shirt. This is in a size two. I totally forgot what this was called. It's either like the love shirt or something. I love these types of shirts to just throw on with a pair of jeans or jean shorts. You can also wear this over your workout outfits because it's a little bit on the longer side. It'll kind of cover half of your bum probably. These types of shirts from Lululemon are pretty pricey for what they are. You can certainly buy these types of shirts from other places for way cheaper. But I will say the Lululemon fit, it just fits so well. It's very flattering. It lasts so many washes. So I think they are worth it. It's just, I mean, this design, obviously it's very simple. You don't have to get the Lululemon one to achieve the similar look. I feel like I saved the best for last because this color is the color bone, which I absolutely love. I like to say that it's like a beigey eggshell white color. If you love the idea of wearing white, but you're too afraid to do so because you're clumsy or maybe you're afraid of messing it up because of stains and things like that, I would try the color bone because it's not as intimidating as like a crisp white. This is their halter top. They recently came out with this style, I believe, and I got it in a size four and I think it fits true to size and it's very flattering. They do come with removable padding, which is great. The halter itself, it does not have a clasp at the back or anything, but it wasn't too difficult to put on. I will say with halter top, 
tops in general, not just with the Lululemon one. They do give me a little bit of a backache, if that makes any sense, because it's pulling on my neck a lot if I wear them for a long period of time. So I try to just wear it when I go out and then take it off. I will certainly not be working out in these because I just find halter tops not very comfortable in general, not just these ones. I bought these as like going out tops. I think this would be so cute with like relaxed fit type of denim. You could also wear this with a skirt and some white sneakers. I think there's so much that I can do with this top. I'm just not gonna be working out in them. That's not why I bought this. I just think this is a really cute top for day to day. So love it. This is the classic fit cotton blend tank in a size four. And I always get this tank in a size four because I like these tanks to be a little bit more relaxed and baggy on me. I love the Lululemon classic fit line in general. I have several of these tanks in different colors. I also have the classic t-shirts in multiple different colors. I think they have like the perfect boxier fit style. I love wearing these to workouts, but I also love wearing them just tucked into denim shorts during the summer. It's a very simple but efficient outfit. They do have like a mini slit along the sides right here and the armholes are a little further down than your typical tanks, but I find that it's not so much that it shows my bra or anything like I don't have that issue with it. It's so so nice I think this is definitely like a wardrobe must-have for me personally last but not least is a <laughs> Very not summer appropriate piece. This is the oversized scuba hoodie and it's the full zip. So it zips out all the way and I got it in a size extra small slash small. That's the size that I usually get for my scubas in general. I love the scubas full zip oversized hoodies because they are the perfect like boxy fit. I love a boxy fit, okay? I think this version of the scuba hoodie is my favorite. Perfect for the airport during like the spring and fall. When this came out in the bone color, I had to snatch it. I have never reacted so fast to a Lululemon release. So I had to grab it. I could not miss the opportunity to get this in bone because I have several other pieces in bone that I could match this with. Really practical and functional. This I wear all the time in the fall, winter, and spring. The only time that I don't really wear this is in the summer because it's way too hot for that. But the fleece inside is so soft and it's one of the most comfortable hoodies that I own. Alrighty, that is everything you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you wanna join our little corner and I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye.